right guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome if you haven't yet please like and subscribe so i can connect to your energy makes it a lot easier for pulling um i'm gonna start with aquarius today or pisces we'll do pisces wait did i just do pisces nope pisces So Pisces, you could be dealing with someone from your childhood or past, or this could be like a past life connection who's a Virgo. So you could be dealing with a Virgo and you could be walking away from this person or this person could be walking away from you. I'm getting that it's you that walked away from this person and now they're really in their feelings as like the King of Cups. They could also have cancer in their chart, but it seems like they are rushing into you after you walked away. They see you as their empress, 111 on the clock. You could be embodying um, a king of swords energy, or there could be two different people you're dealing with that embodies a king of cups and a king of swords. You walked away because you were blindfolded and you wanted justice in some situation that you were blindfolded to and really in your head about. But it looks like this person has been like slowly coming in for a long time and they could be offering you money. They could be offering you money or some type of help. Yeah, they could be like offering you some type of cash or money. Um, like I said, this person's really in their feelings right now. They're coming out as a page of cups and a king of cups. You might be in a queen of swords energy. Two, two, two on the clock. Um, what did this king of cups or king of swords? Is it two people involved? I'm gonna say, yeah, it's two people. You might be balancing two people, Pisces, or this person could be juggling you, but they do see you as the Empress and you're the Nine of Pentacles to them. What did this person do to Pisces? What did this person do to Pisces? Or I should say, what do they want to do to Pisces? They want the Ten of Pentacles with Pisces. They want to close out an old cycle of like that deceit and whatever they did to you. Or they want to close a cycle of juggling and they want the Ten of Pentacles with you, giving and receiving. And they want to go towards calmer waters with you, which also is 66. Yeah, this person's just really thinking about all the choices they made in their past that led to this. And they're upset about it. They feel a lot of melancholy. And it's becoming a heavy burden. Like I said, you could have already walked away and left. Or you're thinking about walking away and leaving. And going towards your Ace of Cups. What is the result? Who will be this person? Who will be Pisces Ace of Cups? Ooh, okay. Okay. So the person that has done this to you in the past, whatever they did to you, um, it could definitely be an Aries or a Taurus that is embodying those energies. But um, he, they're like extremely in their head. They're having sleepless nights. Like whatever they did to you is haunting them or whatever actions they didn't take towards you is haunting them. They could be very obsessed with you. I'm getting that. You you could have one or more people that are obsessed with you right now. You, um, Pisces could be going inside to heal right now and find like an equilibrium of good balance and 
you could be either around family or you could be going home and just like really trying to heal yourself and you know fill up like your own cup of love so you can give that out 505 on the clock to someone that is deserving of it and you deserve that pisces yeah so this person though is rushing in towards you with that cup it's like the second you walked away someone is rushing in because they cannot let you go they're looking towards a new beginning with you but be careful and weary of this person because they still are stuck in dinner um, devil energy and there still might be some deceit considering you walked away and they are heartbroken they're ten of cups that's what they want and they are heartbroken over you they're fighting for this but I feel like you fought for yourself for a long time in this situation I feel like this person um Could have really like really had you in your head but like put up all these illusions too i swear i pulled the eight of cups it's not other power. yeah so there is a cycle being closed on the deceit because the the 10 landed on the world you have two tens too so something is definitely ending and you are getting a new beginning whatever you're going after um You're, you're gonna be happy. You're gonna get a message soon from a Knight of Cups, someone that is, it could be this person from the past or it could be a new person coming in, but they want commitment with you. They could want marriage very much so with you. The um, Hierophant is also here. Okay, hold on. So, I'm trying to get a thumbnail, sorry. I'm not too good at these yet. Do this one. Closing a cycle on this shit. Also signs real fast, Aries, Taurus, Pisces, you came out strong in your reading, um, Virgo. Libra. Um. Did I say Leo? Leo, Aries, Capricorn, Pisces, Gemini, Taurus, Sagittarius. Um, I'll give you guys a few hidden truths real fast of like what this person would say to you right now if they could. messages. This is the one I want to use. Okay, first one. Addiction. Okay. So an addiction is affecting this relationship. So this person could be like doing drugs or alcohol. But you've done the work and abundance flows to you now. So whatever work you've been doing, 808 on the clock, keep doing it. Keep working on you because abundance is now flowing your way. This relationship is moving towards a sacred union, but this person is unavailable to give you all you deserve right now. And this also, everything you've been going through is a spiritual lesson. So like everything that happens, even if like you can't see why at the time, like all this is for a reason and it's all a lesson. And the chemistry you feel, the attraction you feel is mutual. This person could be here, here and now, or your true love could already be a part of your life. And you can be completely vulnerable with this person and open up and, you know, Always look for red flags. That didn't come out, but I'm saying that. Always just like, don't put your guard up too much, but you know, keep one up. And stability. This relationship can stand the test of time. Forgiveness. Forgiving yourself will help you move forward, play hard, find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. Retreat. Time alone or in nature will help recharge you. And healing. Healing wounds and childhood issues need revealing. So, you know, guys, like, make sure you're filling up your own cup of love first and you are loving yourself. So when you do get in a relationship and you're ready to be with someone, you don't get, you know, like vain, bitter or jealous or anything like that. And if you're giving yourself, if you love yourself and you know how to properly love someone else, you will find a person that will do that, too but be weary of who you give that to because some people don't have your best intentions and you know you 
you have to be decisive with a lot of things and um but basically Pisces your message is someone is definitely coming towards you they're coming in and um someone's heartbroken over you really bad 